Hi, I'm Alex Airright, and today we're going to be looking at compressors. So what is a compressor? Well, compressors are the heart and soul of any air suspension install. They provide all the air necessary for you to adjust your air suspension system. How do they work? Well, a compressor runs off the 12 volt electrical supply on your vehicle. It runs an electric motor which forces air up through the head via use of a piston, compresses the air through the leader hose up and out into your systems. The leader hose provides, is, goes directly into a tank and then the tank then provides the air you need for your air suspension system. So, here at AirRide, the primary compressor we use are those from Viair. Now, we think Viair is amazing. They are just ever so reliable. And in over 20 years of trading, we have never had a problem with a Viair compressor. The key advantage of an air suspension system is that it is adjustable. So having air on board in the form of a compressor and a management system does help to get the most out of your system. A duty cycle is the amount of time within a 10 minute period a compressor can continually run for. This is measured as a percentage and to give you some idea of the different compressors and their uses, we've created a number of diagrams for you. The first of our diagram shows a range of our compressors and their commonly used duty cycles. So, for the 98C, it has a duty cycle of 10% up to its specified pressure. For the, and then this goes progressively up as the numbers go higher to the 444C, which has a 100% duty cycle at 100 PSI. For really extreme installs, the 485C is the absolute perfect choice. The 485C has a duty cycle of 100% up to 200 PSI, making it the most powerful compressor we do and one of the most powerful on the market. Further to that, we also have a list of different uses for compressors and the duty cycles we recommend for those uses. For a motorhome, we require at least 20% duty cycle alongside bikes. For a van or a pickup, we would recommend at least a 50% duty cycle. For a car, we would recommend at least a 60% duty cycle. Anything that has solely air suspension, we would always say should have a 100% duty cycle to ensure that it always has the air it needs. When we're talking about duty cycle, it's important to remember that the duty cycles we provide are just a minimum. We would always recommend to improve the lifespan of your compressor that you go for the highest possible duty cycle. By having a duty cycle that's much higher than what is needed for your vehicle, you can ensure the length and lifespan of your vehicle will be increased because the compressor will never have to work to its fullest extent. Well, duty cycle matters because the mi minimum duty cycles we've suggested are just that, the minimum duty cycle you need for a specific use. In order to get the most out of your system and to increase its overall lifespan, we would always recommend going for the highest possible duty cycle you can afford. By using a higher duty cycle than might necessarily be needed, your compressor will have a longer lifespan because it doesn't have to work as hard. This ensures the overall longevity of the install. Another way of ensuring that you have an improved lifespan is to mount a second compressor. By fitting a second identical compressor to the one that you have installed, both compressors have to work only half as hard to achieve the same result. We would also recommend a second compressor in situations where, if one were to fail, there could be a serious problem. While we don't usually have problems with our air suspension install, for a peace of mind, especially on long journeys through difficult terrain or in extreme climates, we would recommend a second compressor to make sure you get home. PSI is pounds per square inch and is the most commonly used measurement of pressure at air ride. While other measurements of pressure that people frequently heard of are the bar, which, unlike what you might be thinking, is equal to one atmosphere of pressure or 14.7 PSI. Compressors fail because the maximum pressure of the system exceeds the capacity of the compressor. Running a compressor for too high a pressure for too long will cause the system to wear out. To ensure the best possible lifespan of your compressor, there are a number of things you should look for when buying a compressor. Apart from ensuring that the duty cycle is the highest possible and that you have a correct pressure in the system for your compressor, 
you should also be looking to have a continually sealed leader hose. Now having a factory sealed leader hose or a continually sealed leader hose ensures that the compressor has arrived to you with the maximum possible resistance to the ingress of dirt or other nasties. Another important factor is the compressor head. Now having a metal compressor head gives you the best possible resistance to heat and having cooling fins along the top ensures that the heat is dissipated properly. The two main causes of compressor failure is a leak in the system which is prevented by a factory sealed leader hose or overheating. Now overheating can be caused because there is a lack of airflow above the compressor or because the compressor has been improperly mounted upside down. A plastic head on a compressor can also melt after an extended period of use which is obviously a big problem for your system. When looking to choose a compressor you should always look to get something IP67 or higher. IP67 is an, a rating of ingress protection which means a protection against things coming into the compressor or other item that might cause it some damage. IP67 is rated for one meter of water for up to 30 minutes so you could submerge a compressor completely within a lake if you want to do well a very shallow lake but we don't recommend this what it does mean however in very practical terms is that you could mount a compressor to the underside of your vehicle this increases the amount of places you could store the compressor which also makes it easier to fit now pressure switches should be fitted to the tank having a pressure switch attached to your tank ensures that any time below the minimum pressure for the pressure switch, the compressor is switched on and ensures that your tank is continually filled with air. Anytime it, the pressure in the tank is above the maximum pressure on the switch, the compressor will be forced off. This means that the compressor won't continually run until it's burnt out. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any further questions or need any help with your air suspension install, don't hesitate to get in contact with us at airride.co.uk. As you can see, we have a number here that you can call or alternatively you can email us. This is turning into an ice cream kind of day.